guys on the defensive line. Thing say is how would you kind of size in with progress? It's a big, it's a big, tr- it's been a tremendous jump. And our young guys, our older guys, it's just, it's a growing process. It's, it's all a starting point, but we're, we're getting better as it goes along. What's just the difference in competition level? I mean, it's a lot of line of uh, it's a it's a lot more competition. We have a lot of uh, better guys like Dimitri, uh, the guy from South Carolina that transferred. Also, like we got a lot of a lot of new guys that came in are really benefit, benefiting us, helping us get better. Maybe we always Oh yeah, yes sir, because at the end of the day, everybody competing to play, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to force you to have to do your job and do what you need to, so you can play. At the end of the day, Odell not going to play you if you're not doing what you need to do. And that's on and off the field. <laughs> Is a guy like DJ Rundy look a little bit different, lighter, maybe moving around really well? Uh, yeah, he's moving around a lot better. He doesn't drop, oh, drop about, I think he dropped about 10 to 15 pounds, I think, 15, 20 pounds, something like that, but he's moving around the ball. It's going to be a scary sight this year. He just, he's just young. He's just young, man. He's a freshman. He, um, he's trying to get it together. He's trying to figure it out himself. But at the end of the day, he's a ball player. He has a lot of, he has a lot of uh, talents and great, great things he has already. God given already. Are you guys pretty comfortable with the depth you have? How much video and Coop and obviously behind you guys? Uh, yes, I am. At the end of the day, we the best D line we got. Like, ain't nobody messing with us. I, I feel. I feel great about our uh, second string and third string behind us. Specifically, Malcolm Ray is someone who seems like he keeps getting better. What, what have you seen from him so far? Yeah. Uh, uh, he's just growing as a as a as a man. Honestly, he's he's growing. He's becoming a player. He needs to be. He's being more dominant. He's taking over and doing everything he needs to. That's why I have confidence in our second and third team. Him, JJ, Josh Form, uh, Bishop, all the young guys this year. Fitted well, he's in shape. He looks good. He plays good. So I, that's he's he's my number one. What, and he also seems to like uh, not shy away from like yeah. He like all action. Yeah, he like all action. That's what I that's what I like about him because at the end of it's a physical, physical game when you're in the trenches. That's what I like. If you're not physical, we don't need you. Simple as that. He, he ain't gonna shy away from it. He gonna come on. I want it. <laughs> now as a, as a guy that's one of the veteran leaders, do you go tell him stuff like that? Like, hey man, I like seeing that. Yeah, I do all the time. Every time, anytime, anytime I see anybody on our team doing something good and I can go compliment them and tell them, I'm going to tell them because at even the end of the day. Even if they're on the other side of the ball. Yeah, even if they're on the other side of the ball. Before we start our pass rush, I go shake every offensive line of hand. Let's work. Let's get better. At the end of the day, we compete to make each other better. We're not competing against each other. We compete to make each other better so we can go beat somebody in the stadium. Awesome.